Okay. What's well, up? All right. Welcome to another fantastic episode of Rebel Sage Perspectives. I'm Rudy. And I am Michelle. And today we have with us the incomparable, awesome, fantastic frontman of the Ruffalos, Robert Costas. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing good. It's good to see you guys. Thank you for having me on. Oh, no, thank you. For Our whole band's that. excited. We were all going to try to hop on and surprise you guys, but I forgot to send them the link. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it happens, right? Yeah. Well, you can send them the link. Send um, them the link. Yeah. And, and you know what? Hey, um, perfectly understandable. Um, I saw your y'all's last post. Mm -hmm. Number three on the uh, Apple reggae charts. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, freaking amazing, man. Thank you. We're super excited. We woke up. We're like, what the hell's going on? Right. And it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. Right, right, right next to this guy right here. Right. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and I, I don't, you know, I just, I, because I've been following, you know, and I've been catching stuff as you guys have thrown it out. I've seen some, some of the YouTube stuff and I've always been very impressed with how energetic it is and, you know, and whether it's, you know, 15 kids in the street mm -hmm. or a small venue or wherever it's just i mean it it pumps people are excited to see you people are excited to be around and um after having listened to the record oh man i, I felt like i mean i definitely definitely was reconnected to i mean we're both we're both from the same place you know i was mm -hmm. born in beverly hospital i'm sure you were too <laughs> right? pretty much <laughs> pretty much right so i mean i was like wow this I, and i felt like i was you know, like i just walked out of ordonesis and i had, just had a green chili burrito you know <laughs> um but uh i geez i don't i don't know where, i really don't know where to start um the the record uh well, I mean, like I said, I can't get enough. Um, I mean, it just, it takes me to so many different places in music. I mean, from, you know, reggae and ska to, to punk to uh, surf punk to, um, you know, I hear some of that old, that old R&B stuff that are, yeah. that our parents used to dance That's to in the backyard. Marty, Marty and, the bass player, he's, he's yeah. a, he's a madman on the bass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, pretty, pretty cool. cool. The musicianship is great. the The production is excellent. Oh, oh, I know, I know. Oh, I, I knew that was coming. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> I, I first, first of all, I want to thank you for being super real, in particular with the production of vocals. I'm so glad not to hear auto tune. Thank you. So glad not to hear it. Oh, that, man. That, that was the whole goal. The whole goal, just capturing energy and just let's release it as if it sounds like we're in a practice yeah nothing, nothing too crazy nothing overly produced just enough to sound professional but as best as we can in a bedroom because we recorded that in in this bedroom actually yeah nice nice yeah. very nice that's nice yeah thank um, you so just uh um i mean i don't, I don't tell tell us a little bit about the journey i mean because I, I remember when you would be running out of the house with your good your guitar to go sit somewhere and play for three hours for 15 bucks or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, definitely. Um, we're again, our, our band names, the Ruffalos. Um, you can find us at Ruffalo soldiers on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all the, all those medias. Um, we started about four, four and a half years ago. Um, it was me, my buddy, Marty, the bass player. Um, we had a drummer named Charlie. Um, we, we all kind of got together because we all, um, Marty actually had a, had a full-time gig, a residency at a bar and the band he was in broke up. Um, and then the band, he's like, we need a spot and we all play. And we're like, I'm like, I have music. I know a drummer. We hit him up. We started playing. We were playing there for like seven months for every Wednesday, just learning. Nice. It was basically like a practice. We got pretty good. We started getting different shows. It started working out. Um, just life happened with with our other drummer. Um, he's a family man now and awesome, awesome dude. Um, we hit up um, the new drummer, Timmy. He's been a great friend. Um, funny story with him. I turned 21. I was pretty drunk and I went up to him and told him, you're going to be in a band with me and we're going to change the world. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> he nice. told me, F, F off, little kid. F off, little kid. Because he's <laughs> older cousin's friends. 
Um, right, right. When I got his number, I called him like the three years later, and he's like, I'm in. He, he was moved back. He moved to Utah. He's a Whittier, Whittier head. Nice. Um, and right when he hopped on, I've like always known that his style of drumming just works out perfectly with how my style of guitar playing. Um, his um, kicks and drums actually match the bass player with his movement. Um, he likes to move. He comes from a lot of classical training um, and just classical like references and influences. Um, and it took off. It, we started working as a three piece again. It was happening. Um, the keyboard player added just fairly recently. He's actually in the in a band called Jabbermouth. Um, check okay. them out. If you you like punk, Jabbermouth is the most insane punk band I've almost ever heard. Probably right ever. Heard. They're they're pretty cool. And um, we all created a label together called Murano Beach Records. I like the uh, name. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. The <laughs> local local thing. That's local, a whole local, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we all kind of got together and Jabbermouth was um the band, like, hey, let's do it together and let's kind of create it. We all have equipment. We're all tired of people kind of screwing us over with recordings. I think we could do it ourselves. Um, their drummer has equipment. He was all about it. My fiance got involved. Um, she became the CEO because she has her master's in business. Shout out, nice. Alyssa. Shout um, out. Yeah. So we like we're like it's take that be role. Yeah. Smart people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she has that. I I um, we doing the recording and it's just working out. It's a cool story of just community and friends and family just coming together. Um, and now we're the four piece band with keys. We have horn players that we asked to join the album. They fortunately said yeah and we've never played with them live we just have the album but now we have some shows lined up with them so nice that's cool. Cool. wow that's a full-on okay. full-on a uh, 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 ska punk review ready to ready to launch man <laughs> definitely and yeah those horn players they're called the brass boys they're they're awesome they're they're insane now um because I, I, I can't say enough of it um it's I, I i'm actually i'm i'm kind of uh i'm kind of geeking out a little bit i mean it's it's just it's for me it's really been a long time since i've heard any new music mm -hmm. that had any kind of poignancy to it that that mm -hmm. you know it took you from you know the the backyard party hey let's let's get loaded and have a good time to hey let me let me lay something down real kind of serious to you about about my perspective on life and a lot of your lyrics, like it, it runs the gamut of, of the human experience. Mm -hmm. um, and it definitely, as far as the ska aspect of your music and the reggae aspect, it, it like, you're very much bringing it back to like, I don't say like second wave ska when you saw things like madness and, and, um, mm -hmm. and the specials and, and how there was that party vibe and that good time vibe, but then also that very real, um, you know, kind of social conscience. Yeah. And um, I just, uh, you know, is that, is that just kind of your own thing or do you guys throw these ideas around or? It's, I mean, it's all of our things in, in a sense. Um, we all believe music's a message and in music's energy, um, but we all don't necessarily take it seriously Yeah, um, because we, we get in the room, we just enjoy each other's company and we just play. And it kind of just happens. Um, my background, though, um, I'm a social worker by my career. Um, I'm about to take my license to be a clinical social worker. Um, so after this, I'm actually doing therapy and stuff with a lot of clients. Right. Um, so I think that has a big thing to do when it comes to writing my lyrics, um, just social value, social justice. Um, I like throwing messages in there, but I like being subtle about it. I like, like, if you really dig into what I'm trying to write, you could find it. But if you just listen and you're trying to have a good time, you, you're you not bombarded with preaching. Right, right. When... Um, so that's kind of always been the thing. And then there's just times where we're just like, yeah, let's just write something funny. That's a, it yeah. sounds funny. We're at, it made us laugh. So that's, that's really what matters. Hopefully other people laugh too. Oh, I busted your gut a <laughs> yeah. number of times. <laughs> Yeah, when I was listening earlier today, I I was I heard something in one of the songs and I was like, wait, hold up. I was like, you just slipped that in there and I almost missed it. And I can't remember what it was, but I was like, 
Yeah, that was good. I'm pretty sure Thank that's you. what he meant right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I I started um, trying to find a favorite track. And then I hear the track after and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. This is kind of messing up my deal. But right now I'm really stoked on Santiago. We're both a big Santiago. fan of Santiago. That's my favorite. That's dope. Yeah. Um, shout out to Julio. Um, he's His name's Mosaic One. Mosaic One is the hip hop artist that's under our label too. Mm -hmm. okay. um, he's, for whatever reason, reminds us of the golden age of hip hop. He just okay. has that voice and just we're like, oh, you belong there, but you live now. It's like, all right, well, let's let's try to make some music that just kind of suits that. And that one, um, it's actually the the brainchild of Marty, the bass player. He had that bass line, that boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And then we all listen. We're like, okay, let's yeah, let's do it. And drummer came in, our keyboard player, Buzz, rad. <laughs> My other one that I'm that I'm, I'm kind of geeking out on is uh, <laughs> the devil went down to Pico. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I like that one too. So I mean, the like the funny stories are funny as all get out, man. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, was, like I said, I'm standing outside Ordonis's is fucking eating a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pardon my language. We're, we're trying to get Marty more excited too. He's he's a good singer. He's very good at the the theatrics and the the opera type of things, like Danny Elfman style type things. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, oh, so so those uh, those um. Those more theatrical uh, uh That's all vocals. Marty. Yeah. That's all Marty? Okay. <laughs> Baja Baby, Devil Went Down to Pico is Marty. Uh, yeah. Santiago is um, Julio Mosaic One. Um, uh -huh. The rest are pretty much me um, and maybe someone joining me. There's Bree. Um, she's um, the female vocalist that comes in on Head Trip and Santiago, that little like eerie part at the right, end. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, she, she joined us. Um, she was actually like involved with American Idol. Um, oh, and wow. just became the family mom so that's, that's what kind of stopped that but we're like no like if you do that no come come sing with us so we have some ideas for you to just hop on yeah yeah so that was awesome good yeah. really good friend so every everyone's family everyone's friends it's it's pretty cool and you mentioned something about like second wave ska um a cool little story i don't know if you've heard of um tazy phillips and ska parade uh, um I, you know i i believe i just liked their ig and I've been been trying to find a well, trying to make my schedule fit when they do the radio. Yeah, show, it's right? hard. They have the radio show, yeah. Yeah, and it's like Sunday and Wednesday. Um, but yeah, he's like credited for making Sublime, no doubt, Fishbone, Agrilites, Voodoo Glow School is kind of who they are. Um, uh -huh. back in his college radio, it's called Ska Parade. It was a very like iconic thing at the time, and it still is. Um, he reached out. We got we're number one on his um, radio station right now, Lost Coast City. Nice. Um, wow. And he just reached out to us yesterday of like, hey, you guys, um, I'd like to collaborate. And um, if the label or anyone could like sponsor the, the station. So getting asked stuff like that and little things that are happening, it's very small to a lot of people, but it's very important to us with who's joining this team. Yeah. We yeah. definitely understand. Oh that yeah, I mean, a, a lot of what we do is we talk to, you know, artists who are um, either you know in it for the good fight and trying to get through the conventional ways, or who are yeah. just doing it and making it for themselves. And mm -hmm. I mean, that's what you guys have done. I mean, you've done it and made it for yourselves, and Thank you. it's jumping off man <laughs> it's jumping yeah. off i mean i yeah. followed all the instructions okay um uh, it's on my spotify i have it on the repeat <laughs> <All right>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. it helps it helps yeah. a lot yeah. i gotta go i gotta go back and make sure i go back how far and make sure i heart everything on the ig <laughs> and <laughs> we need to do some social Thank media you. training i don't think even i know what all i'm supposed to click and like yeah, and do no. but we're working on it. What can we say, yeah, right? <laughs> definitely. And you guys have been a podcast for how long? How, how, how did this start? I'd like to know. About a year. About a year ago. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It was free. I, I read your guys' bio. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. What did we say on it? I, I don't know. She does all that. I just um, I just show up and talk shit. Uh, <laughs> About Rebel that. and Sage and how it came up and yeah. the names. Yeah. And awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, on the website. I was like, yeah. can I send him that? Because I'm working on all this marketing stuff. Nice. And I, I have this whole media kit 
that I put together that I could have sent you, but I didn't like it. I didn't think it was up to my very high standard. She has very high standards. That's yeah, why yeah. you're That's a good here. Thing. <laughs> right, right. And so, yeah, but I explained it. Basically, we had a phone call two days in a row. It was very long, both of them. And at mm -hmm. the end, he said, you're really funny. And I was mm -hmm. like, I know, right? And he said, we should do a podcast. And I said, we should do a what? Why? And then two weeks later, I was like, hey, by the way, Rudy, when can you record? Because I've got a new computer and I've got mics and I've got uh, software and I'm ready to roll. Let's do yeah. this. Hey, <laughs> and see what wonderful things happen sometimes when, you know, sometimes it's bullshit, but people call you on your bullshit and it turns into roses. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I mean, I know you guys have had this huge major thing, this chart mm -hmm. almost. Yeah. Number yeah. one spot. That's wild. I mean, and literally I'm, from one day to the next, from dropped exactly, it and yeah. then yeah. right to the top. Yeah. And like, I'm feeling that way. Ours isn't quite that high on the list, but like out of 2,000 podcasts about music on the globe, um, we rank 382. That's rad. So that's, that's rad. pretty freaking awesome in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't oh, know yeah, it is. I didn't know we were that high. Yeah. 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 That's, that's, I would have combed so. my hair if I thought we were doing yeah. so well. Yeah, me, me too. Me too. <laughs> hey, you're hey, rock star. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Most of the time, my hair is flying all over, and I'd stick the headphones over it. And I'm just yeah. Playing for the best. I'm right. like, hope it works out. Oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, awesome. so it's been good. Congrats, it's, guys. I understand your Thanks. climb Thank and you. your fight. And hey, so, uh, um, so I'm curious. Um, now, I mean, you all are, as far as I'm concerned, uh, in San Gabriel Valley, the, the quintessential local band. You know, I'm, I'm sure there's a scene, but I'm guessing you guys stick out in the scene. We try to. I, I, I would like to say that um, we, we get told local legends a lot. Like, that's what people refer to us as. And that's it's nice it's nice having this community and it we're slowly actually getting to a point where someone will message one of us like hey i saw someone wearing the murano beach shirt ruffalo shirt yeah. and it's like oh you, we probably know who it is or like what does he look like and they'll say like say hi to him and it's almost to the point too that this community of followers if they find each other wearing the shirt if it's at a bar they'll go up to each other and just buy that person a drink and like hey nice shirt here you go and like people are making new friends from that and it's 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 awesome. pretty damn cool it's pretty damn cool that everyone's just having that backyard barbecue vibe with one another no matter where they're at yeah that's that that's cool. all that we've been waiting asking for trying to provide um just to play and ha have people live for a night put the phone yeah. down or record for a little bit but for the most part just have some fun yeah so, connect yeah, yeah connect. exactly be, be in the now and enjoy it for sure exactly yeah. exactly so how how far how far out from the hood do you guys play out i mean have you extensive we, tour to, um, or no touring yet we're trying to plan something um now that we have more of merch to provide um the cds and stuff and we're, we're that will come when it comes um we've gone out as far as like lancaster and apple valley okay um those those were cool um we do a lot of things in orange county um a lot of things near the beach um we've oh, yeah. gone into hollywood before um what i've learned though is a lot of the main name places that have the history like the whiskey um all these different um, big venues they're awesome but they are living off the name and they're making people like sell tickets and all yeah, these pay to play. And right. Yeah. People and you're don't going to do that. Yeah. And no one's wanting to drive to Hollywood anymore for whatever reason. They'd rather go down to the local Whatever. place in, right. down yeah. to Fullerton right. or in somebody's backyard in Redondo yeah. Beach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, oh, if we're going to sell tickets for this much, we could just have the party in the backyard. And yeah. if we two, wanted two to charge, ahead and sell some all shirts. the money. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> but we'd rather just have everyone come for free and just let's just have a good time. But yeah, so there's there's a lot of different shows that we're getting a part of. We're 
getting more and more offers. Um, we got some things lined up um, with some other ska bands. I can't really talk about that one yet until That's it's cool. confirmed. But I'll definitely keep you guys posted. For um, sure. And there, there's there's a lot of things happening. It, it's pretty cool. That's one of my favorite things about the type of podcast that we do because mm -hmm. we get to talk to amazing people who are doing things and and they're coming on and they're like, well, I've got this really cool thing coming up and but I can't talk about it yet. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, I love that. I love it. The mm -hmm. mystery is good. But definitely. it means you guys have stuff going on that's Yeah, definitely. Amazing. And it, it's cool. Everyone has their own connections. Um T Timmy the drummer was in a band called My Superhero. And that's how we got um this connection for this next show. The those band members are into other bands and all these different things. And it's it's pretty cool. The our keyboard player just has a lot of connections. Um, different bands he's played with, different people he's networked with. Um, bass player has a lot of connections, different bands he's played with. Um, he just got a message that he, a punk band he did some keys with when he wasn't that good with, at keys. Yeah. Um, they're calling him like an influencer in this punk scene um, of he did something and now people are trying to imitate that. And it's, <laughs> we all have like our little things under our belt that are pretty, pretty cool for the story that, that it's this journey that's happening. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, I mean, it sounds like it and it looks like it. I mean, like I said before, I mean, cause I've been following, I mean, it's taken me a while to reach out, but we've only had a podcast for mm -hmm. just barely over a year. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I've just kind of watched you just add it and add it and add it. And the reactions always positive. And, you know, the kids that are dancing in the videos are having such a good time. And, you know, when you guys are just throwing off your little, you know, joke, jokey kind of one off things for your, your, your Instagram or your Facebook, yeah. it's like <laughs> a great group of friends having a great time doing stuff that they love, you know, mm -hmm. and just the vibe has been incredible. Uh, and I just, just watching it grow and then hearing this album, I, like I told you Thank earlier, you. I'm geeking out. Man. <laughs> you guys gotta send me send me the address. I'll, I'll send send one out to you guys. <laughs> right on, yeah. right on. And some stickers too, and stuff like that. Yes, Sweet. We yeah. love stickers. We should send them some. Stickers. Yeah, we'll send you some yeah. stickers. Oh, please do, yeah. please do. We, yeah. They're all over the drums, our, our practice drums, and I actually have a thing. I'll uh, I have a different place. I'll put it. Um, I awesome. have this little holder and everyone would see it at all our shows. Nice. So, awesome. Yeah. That's I'll put it there. It. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm, I'm telling everybody I walk into, have you heard the new album? What new album? <laughs> the Ruffalo's have you heard the new freaking album? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? <laughs> and I imagine he does that with that sense of urgency. I do. Like, we need this right now. Yeah. Why, why haven't you done this? Why haven't you done this? <laughs> so, oh, you, Hey, you, you look down. You need to listen to the Ruffalo's album. Yeah. That's what you need. Thank you. <laughs> Crack a cold one. Yeah. Go find someone's yeah. backyard to hang out in. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Just listen right. to it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh that's, man. That's crazy. Yeah, there's a lot happening and it's I'm very excited. I'm very thankful. We we're all very thankful. There's we all have our, our different roles and everyone's everyone's actively we're we're trying. If if we could get to a point where we don't have to necessarily work and we could do that, right. that would be nice. That's a long yeah. shot. It's a dream, but we're we're on a path that it's it's possible. So we'll we'll see. Hey, we'll see. You know, Till then, we're we're you know, having fun anyway. <laughs> hey, you know what? Anything yeah. in life is possible, and if you're having fun in your life, I just think it makes it that much more possible. Mm -hmm. Probable, in fact, yeah. probable. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Um, hey, is there anybody you want to shout out to or uh, um, you know, anything you'd like to throw out there? By the way, we are in France right now, um, nice. which is in, in a town, yeah. Clichy, a beautiful town, <laughs> Clichy, France, and they have... We're assuming. Yeah, we're assuming it's beautiful, but we do know for a fact that the, uh, Sony Entertainment has a headquarters there. So <laughs> if you want to talk to them too, I don't know. <laughs> shout, out, shout out Sony shout out. Entertainment. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Sony France. Uh, I, I got I got a lot of uh, a, a few um shout out local music experience they're they're another online radio station um if you guys you do your music podcast you guys should connect with them they're they're really great people in terms of um collaborating and partnering with different podcasts and things like that oh cool. um, there's Thanks. another one yeah. called raghouse media they're 
both of them have been very helpful to us in terms of playing our music before promoting, um, giving us interviews and all, all the way coming up. It's, it's been very helpful. Um, and shout out Scott Parade. That's, that's our, our new buddy. It's, we're, we're excited to, to be able to work with him and see, see what we could all do together. Yeah. And most importantly, it's like shout out to our, our family, our friends, um, most of our stuff is all funded through them, through tips. We get a lot of tips through them tipping to get CDs, shirts, CD um, stickers. It's 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 helpful. It's all crowdfunded in that sense. Yeah. And yeah, most yeah. importantly, more our our team, Alyssa, Buzz, Marty, Timmy, Bridget. Um, we adding a lot of different people, and it's we're all pretty on board. It's, yeah. there's a lot of cool things to come you, you guys are going to see some pretty cool shit i'm 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 excited as all get out man yeah i i, I can't stop i, I feel stupid now i can't stop playing it <laughs> i can't stop playing it thank okay, you everybody so that that upstroke man it gets me yeah <laughs> my co-host is addicted to the ruffalos i think y'all should check it out so you can feel his pain i'll say mainline that Mainline Mainline <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> said specifically in southern for you california folk out there <laughs> that's more like barstow <laughs> <laughs> oh hey robert thank you so much for having me thank you so hey, much and our, our band's very appreciative we we all are oh uh, and and we we appreciate what you put out because yes. I mean, like I said before, it's been it's been a minute since I've been excited about new music, and uh, I mean, you're kicking it old school and bringing it into the new school, and um, you know the community vibe is there. I mean, having grown up where you grew up, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I I feel home, and I'm sure anybody who loves their own hometown would listen and feel their hometown vibe. I mean, it's mm -hmm. very connective stuff, man. Very great, and I'm saying thank I'm, you. I'm glad that you come on the show. If we get the opportunity to get all of you on, hopefully by that time there'll be like a horn section and everything. Yeah. Yes. We'll get you to play for us on our podcast. Right. That'd be great. Yeah. And I'm we, geeking we out again. <laughs> we could do it. Give, give me a moment. I'm actually in the process of um, I'm getting a house with my fiance. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. And we're we're turning in the garage and a room into the studio. Um, and I have the equipment where if we we did do that podcast and I have them all over, I could plug us in and make sure we even sound pretty damn cool with all the leveling and nice. we'll hop back on we can do it virtually yeah <laughs> virtual shows yeah the wave of the future but Indeed. nothing yeah. the backyard right yeah exactly <laughs> um go ahead oh no i was just gonna i was gonna wrap it up oh we're gonna, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I think you have a busy day. You, you have a regular job too. So we're going to yes. wrap you up, but please, um, all the IGs and all the, all everywhere yeah, that all people can. Please. Yeah. At, at Ruffalo soldiers at Ruffalo soldiers, R U F F O L O S. Um, there's, we get a lot of people that spell it wrong and it's okay. That's why we yeah. have the song elementary. If you really <laughs> listen to it, that's, it was basically. <laughs> It's written solely for that, but if yeah, yeah. follows at Ruffalo Soldiers. It's on everything. Um, you could even go to MoranoBeachRecords.com. Um, there's a website, and everyone's um, handles and everything are on there, and it could take you to all the different things that are we have. Right. So awesome. we can we can get your merch and all that stuff too. You can. Um, right now it's not available through the the online at this moment, but if you message us and just um tell us where you're at, we'll shipping cover shipping and we'll, we'll get it right out to you that's awesome yeah thank you thank cool. you hey listeners we're gonna wrap it up for today but we would love if you would go and leave us a five-star review Biff. five five stars five, 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 not the five finger discount four, again five stars <laughs> and a written review we want yeah. that written yeah. review yeah. also okay so we're gonna let y'all go from our crazy lives until next week peace out y'all hey say hi to your mom for me robert and I tell will. your brother to tell your brother something you know just tell him something for me i, will, I, will. <laughs> Make I don't know if you saw the video but just dig and see find the video of your dad when he partied with us Oh, oh, I think nice. I, I think I did, but I got to rewatch that. <laughs> Everyone calls him the Jurassic Park guy. <laughs> wow. Okay. So on that note, peace, y'all. Again, bye. Peace out, babe. Thank you so much.